Konnichiwa. I am uh, Chaplain Major uh, Mark Johnston. I am the 38th Air Defense Artillery Brigade Chaplain. To speak with you today a little bit about uh, resiliency. And that's a word that has a lot of, it's a pretty broad topic, but I wanted to speak to you today a little bit about what I think is the core of resiliency, which is hope. Um, hope uh, that can give us guidance and direction in these days where many don't have hope. Of course, everything reminds me of a joke, and it makes me think of this uh, little boy who was so optimistic about the future, always optimistic. He was one of those guys that would go fishing for Moby Dick in a rowboat and take the tartar sauce with him, that kind of boy. And his dad wanted to fix him. He was kind of worried that a person with so much hope and so much resiliency just was going to really get crushed in the world. And so his dad took in a big box at Christmas time and filled it up with horse manure and put it under the Christmas tree. And the little boy went in there all excited about this big present and he went in and opened it up and when he saw the horse manure in there he said, this is awesome! And his dad just was just flabbergasted and said, well, how can this be awesome? And the little boy said, well, there's got to be a pony around here somewhere. So his hope was strong. And as we approach um, this season of pestilence, um, I'm hoping that you will not give up on hope. Um, I chose this spot here to talk to you because of the, the cherry trees that are behind me. You can't really see them now, but they, for the last few weeks, they have been filled with beautiful blooms. Many of them were planted after uh, World War II. And the Japanese who planted them, planted them in the hope of the future. They could have been bitter and sour and given up on life, but they didn't. They planted these beautiful trees with hope for the future. When I see them, it reminds me of them and, and the hope that they had, the resiliency that they had. And they not only planted trees that were useful, for cherry, these cherry trees don't produce a fruit, so they're not particularly useful, but they are beautiful. And they appreciated beauty and wanted things to be beautiful for their children and their grandchildren and for the future. Despite what they had been through, they lived in hope. My grandfather, who was my favorite person in the world, when I was a little boy, I was 10 or 11, and he, um, he had just been through a tragedy himself. His, his, uh, one of his sons, my Uncle Earl, had been killed in a terrible automobile accident. And I watched as he struggled with his faith and he struggled with so many other things and he, like me, was a, a preacher. And his faith was challenged by the circumstances of his life. Now we can't choose our circumstances, but we can choose how we respond to them. And my grandfather chose to respond in hope. I remember I was about 10 or 11 and we were out one day and he made the decision for the future he was going to plant some trees. And he went into town, we went into town and bought some uh, pecan trees and um, if you're from Georgia I know they're pecan trees but I'm from Alabama so they're pecan trees. And we went out and we started planting them. I say we started planting them, actually he did, I was just there. It's kind of it's kind of the old saying, we killed a bear, daddy shot it. Well, but. I went out with him there and we were planting these pecan trees when this man, you know how some people are, this man drove up and got out of his truck and came over. You know, some people can light up a room just by leaving it. And he was one of those kind of people. He came over to my, my grandfather and said, Brother Huey, that's everybody called my grandfather, Brother Huey, said, um, what are you doing? And I thought it was pretty obvious what we were doing, but maybe this man wasn't as smart as some men are. And uh, my grandfather said, well, my grandson and I were planting some pecan trees. And the man just looked disgusted and looked down and said, you are 60 something years old. You will never see a single pecan off of one of these trees. And my grandfather, he didn't even look up from what he was doing. He said, no, you're right, I won't. He put his arm around me and said, but my grandson will, and his children will, and his grandchildren will. And the man just turned and went back and got in his truck and drove off. You can choose to live in fear, but living in fear will not make you any safer. Or you can choose to live in hope. The choice is up to you. Have a great day.